Hey everybody, apologies for the grubby hands, I've just been working on the XJ6. As promised, another video playing with bismuth. Now if you saw the first video, and if you haven't, go back and watch it because I talk about a few interesting things and it's, this is going to be an interesting progression of learning how this works and getting better at what we produce. Point is, I tried to melt uh, the bismuth using a blowtorch and that worked, but it only melted the surface area. So I couldn't actually form big crystals. That's where I was going wrong. Now, one of the best ways I've seen to melt bismuth is on an electric hob plate like this. Apparently these can get hot enough. So I'm going to melt an entire saucepan full of bismuth today. And here it is. <laughs> we are going to move up to more uh, more quantities and trying to build, uh, grow bigger and bigger crystals. I do actually now have three kilos of bismuth. So I'm going to be doing a series of videos doing different things from like trying to make bigger crystals to actually casting some stuff. I've got something very cool uh, that I'm planning to cast, but we'll get into that. The reason why the electric hot plates are particularly good for this is because what you want to do is slow down the transition between the, uh, the metal being a liquid and then it becoming a solid. It's during that transition back that it crystallizes and turns into the crystals. If we can slow that process down, then we will get large crystals. So if I fill this up as much as I can and keep this insulated around the outside and keep the heat up from underneath and slowly turn it down, in theory, it's the surface that will start crystallizing and it will move down and we can get larger crystals in theory. Uh, so what I've done is I've made a little foil ring that this can fit into and hopefully that will help draw more heat in and hold more heat in. I was going to use the original piece of bismuth um, I had from before but it fits so perfectly in here but not down to the bottom that my concern is that when it melts on the outside the air pressure is going to spurt liquid metal on me so we'll wait till we do a lot more to uh, use that one. So in this one, I'll use some of my new raw bismuth. This is how it comes when you buy it. Link's in the description, by the way, if you want to try this. Be very careful, obviously. It melts at 271C. Uh, to give reference, cooking oil is 190, so it's not that much hotter. Anyway, well, let's see if this can do it. Oh! Uh, amazing, it is def definitely going to work. Right, well this is going to be a long process. Um, so, this stuff is nuts, honestly. I really do want to fill this up. Okay, I'm now going to turn this down to the minimum temperature so it keeps the bottom end of it warm and this will all be insulated by the aluminium foil and then hope that the surface of the metal is going to slowly solidify downwards and that will form the crystals. As I say, the longer it takes to form the crystals, the bigger and more interesting they'll be. It's doing something. It's actually extruding. Oh, oh no. The whole thing is, hmm. that solidified a lot faster than I thought it was going to. I can see why this is so tricky. Right, well, it's just going to have to go back on, get heated back up, and we'll try again. This is the wonderful thing about this. Okay, well, we've remelted it, so let's take this oxide off the top. Oh, come on. Okay, I've turned it off again, so I'm just going to sit and watch this time, because obviously it goes quick. Or I just was a bit longer inside than I realised. Okay, so I gave it a little push just now, and it actually broke the surface. So, I'll try and take one of these crystals out the top. If I keep it over the heat, I can blue this. I hope. Obviously I'm going to do a close up at the end. But yeah, we're getting better results. Still not what we're after exactly, but 
Do you reckon we should just pull that out and see what's in there now? Let's pull this one out as well. Oh, we may have just cracked. Yeah, we did. Just hold together dish. It didn't really crystallize. I don't know if that was because I sped it up too much or what. I think I'm going to melt this down again. I'm not sure where I'm going wrong here because I thought the crystals would grow from the top down because obviously the hot plate's going to be the hottest thing and this so it's a little bit counterintuitive to what I was thinking so maybe taking it off the heat would help I'm going to try the complete opposite okay, I'm also going to try and do a thing called seeding where you take an original crystal and Place it in the top and hope that it grows from there. Oh, it's been It's like, when do you take it out? Do you wait longer? Do you, do you go now? When is it too late? Yep, I'm going to lift it. No, 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 no. Mm, I'll show you all at the end, but that didn't quite go as I was hoping. Okay, so let's see how we did in this episode. I feel like I've learned some things and I'm a bit more confused than ever. Um, we definitely made an improvement last time, which I'll show you in just a moment. But first, let me show you a couple of mildly interesting things. You'll probably recognise this as one of the last pores. Uh, but what is interesting about this is the very square crystals that have grown in the middle. Let me zoom in. So as you can see here, there are some very square crystals forming here. Now these would grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger and that's what we need to try and do. But yeah, I thought that was interesting enough to give you a quick look. If you remember I had a load trapped in the saucepan, well I managed to get it out and I cut the middle out so it just left the bottom. Um, I am again going to remelt this because there's a lot of bismuth here and not a lot of crystals, but uh, I thought it was quite interesting so let's zoom in on this as well. Okay, and here you can see there is also some large cube crystals, but these haven't got too many steps on them. They're uh, just quite big square crystals. And if you look closely here, we are starting to get that sort of stepped rectangular form that some of these bismuth crystals make. Uh, so it's showing promise, but again, not really great. Okay, this one is actually from the previous video. This was my best one so far. Not very good at all, really, but it was just very interesting uh, shaped with different step marks on it. Nice colours. But we've definitely made an improvement on this. So that large square crystal I tried to grow a bit more, as you can see, didn't really do a lot. It, uh, it took on more material, but yeah, definitely no improvement there. Quite amazing colours on the other side of it though. Okay, this is one of the large ones I took off to start with. Uh, as you can see, it didn't really do a lot, uh, unfortunately. I don't think it had the depth all the time. But it's still very cool, very pretty, nonetheless. But we definitely have an improvement on structure.
Okay, so this one's very small, but you can see it's got proper structure to it as it started to grow more and more crystals. And there's quite a few in all sorts of different directions. Saving the best till last, as you can see, this one has got proper structure to it. It's got, look at that. It's got its repeating step downs. And if this was left longer and had more material and a bit more time to grow, they would have got bigger and bigger and more and more. But yeah, very promising. Absolutely amazing colours. I love this bit. But still, this is nowhere near what I want to do. And I have to say, the fact that I've not nailed this first time or second time, I'm loving because I can make more videos and I can show my progression as I learn more and understand more. You see there? Oh, sorry, I'm going to go back now. You see there? You see again here, we've got that rectangular shape which keeps growing around. That will continue and continue. It can get bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm really looking forward to melting more of this material. I just hope that the three kilos I have is going to be enough to get something decent. I've also got to make sure I get the cooling times right. But man, these are pretty videos. Super fun. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. I'm going to do more of these. If you're only really here for my motorcycle content, well, you're probably not this far into the video, so it's not really a problem. But yeah. If you do like this, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it because I do think more people would be interested to see this. Well, there we go. Until the next one where I'm going to melt down at least 2.8 kilos, I would have said, and see what size crystals we can get out then. But this is good progression and I'm happy with it. Just to give you some scale. It's not huge. It's not tiny. But man, is it pretty. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.